Hello everyone, welcome to Divya Ganita. In this video, I am going to discuss about the domain of a function. The domain of function is nothing but the inputs. That is, the set of all x for which the function is well defined or it gives the valid answer. Let us discuss some types of function and how to find the domain of such function. If the function is in the form of q of x by q of x, the function is defined only when the denominator is not equal to 0. That is q of x is not equal to 0. Let us consider the function of the form root of p of x. So, the function is defined only when p of x is greater than or equal to 0. That is, the function inside the root is always positive. If it becomes negative, then it will go for complex numbers, which is not defined. Therefore, the function is defined only when p of x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, let us combine these two conditions. That is, we have the rational function as well as root in the denominator. That is, function in the form of p of x by root q of x. Then, by combining these two conditions, q of x is under the root, therefore function must be positive and it is in the denominator, therefore it is not equal to 0. Therefore, overall condition will become q of x is strictly greater than 0. If the function is in the form of log of p of x, then the function is defined only when p of x is greater than 0. Because logarithmic function is defined only for positive values. Therefore, we must have p of x is strictly greater than 0. Similarly, if we have log in the denominator, that is p of x by log q of x, then according to the condition of logarithmic, we must have q of x is greater than 0. As well as we have another condition that is q of x is not equal to 1. Because we know that the value of log 1 is equal to 0. Then the denominator will become 0 and the function is not defined. Therefore, the function is defined only for q of x greater than 0 as well as the condition q of x is not equal to 1. Now, let us discuss about the algebra of functions. That is, if we have the functions in the form of f of x plus g of x, f of x minus g of x, or f of x into g of x and f of x by g of x. For all these conditions, the domain will be intersection of domains of two functions. That is domain of f and domain of g. But for the function of the form f of x by g of x, we have the add-on condition that is g of x is not equal to 0. Since it is in the denominator, we must have the condition denominator not equal to 0. So, this is about the domain of the functions. Thank you.